All right, what's going on everybody? So some pretty interesting stuff here. So Angry Joe, who many of us probably know, um, the YouTube you know gaming personality, and IGN's uh, Dan Stapleton had some pretty heated exchanges over Twitter yesterday. So pretty much uh, Dan Stapleton from IGN, I don't wanna use the word attacked, but Dan Stapleton confronted Angry Joe about his review uh, Titanfall review claiming that he misquoted um, IGN's review of Titanfall and misrepresented them. So the two went back and forth on Twitter for a pretty long conversation and it's all been recorded. I would actually say it's pretty entertaining if you want to read all of it, the link is in the description. This uh, conversation was almost to the liking of, you know, it was almost to the caliber of what you would expect from this, uh, you know, gaming um community you know i i guess i didn't i, I never expected to see that these type of exchanges from professionals in the uh uh journalism gaming journalism industry even though angry joe doesn't really uh consider himself a professional um reviewer or journalism you know he's kind of informal but nevertheless i just didn't expect something like this to escalate between these two people uh i would say i'm i'm more surprised at Stapleton from IGN, um, I would say coming at Joe kind of sideways because I do feel like he just kind of, you know, he, he came at him a little bit unwarranted and I would say he was a little bit emotional about it. He really like was sensitive, bitter and salty because he felt angry Joe misquoted, you know, uh, IGN. And I was really surprised at how sensitive he was acting. He was like really channeling his inner Drake. He went he went full light skin mode, like full Drake. And also I didn't really understand it because even though Angry Joe is very big and a very popular popular YouTube, so he does hold some weight and the things he says do reach a lot of people, he's I would still consider him very small fish to a network, an outlet like IGN. What angry even if Angry Joe does misrepresent you He's small fish compared to IGN, so I don't see why, like that would even why he would even care or why it would even make a dent in IGN. People misquote and say horrible things about IGN all the time. Like, why does it matter now? I guess it might be because he actually does value Angry Joe's, uh, you know, opinion. And, and when you read the Twitter conversation, you can see the way he approached Joe. He was like, his nerves were really touched. He was really like offended you know about it and, and really kind of hurt and it was all over very minuscule things like a, a point one of a score you know just grasping for straws it wasn't worth it but in the end they made up check out the conversation let me know what y'all think about it all right peace